welcome to part 3 of our ongoing homemade weed killer experiment. Parts 1 and 2 of our experiment showed some potential. So for our next experiment, we are going to try a popular mixture that's been around for quite some time. Brygen. It's 15 weeks since we started the first round of our experiment. When the weeds began to return with steady regrowth beginning at 3 weeks, we made the decision to let the weeds grow nilly-willy and undisturbed until now, so that we have a fresh start for our next experiment. We'll take you on a tour of the driveway beginning at the bottom. The areas from the bottom of the drive to the steps where vinegar and the three different types of salt that were applied with the soap and vinegar mixture didn't grow back as thick and tall as the weeds that had vinegar and no salt applied which you can see in the section from the steps to the top corner. Normally, we would have applied a store-bought weed killer a couple of times during a 15-week period, but for this experiment, we wanted to let the weeds grow. This is the top area of our driveway where the 50-50 mixture of water and vinegar with no salt was applied. Over the 15 weeks, the weeds in this section have grown in thicknesses and heights. First, we'll have a little fun cutting off the highest weeds before we set the mower to a low setting and trim the weeds in preparation to apply the next test mixture. We're trying a different kind of salt in this experiment and because this is an ongoing experiment we picked up a 50 pound bag of mix and fine salt from the local feed store for $6.49. It's used to mix in with animals food. The only ingredient in it is salt. We're ready to stir up our new mixture. You can see the salt is coarser than table salt, but not as coarse as the rock salt. For this go around, we're going to experiment with a different way to mix our ingredients. We pour half a gallon of the distilled white vinegar into a gallon beaker and add one cup of salt and stir half of it until the salt is dissolved and then pour in the remainder of the gallon of vinegar and salt. We want to make sure the salt is dissolved so that it won't clog the sprayer. Then add one teaspoon of dishwashing liquid and stir it in until well blended. The purpose of the soap is to help the mixture absorb into the leaves of the weeds. Then pour the mixture into the sprayer. If you're mixing a large quantity of the mixture, it might be easier to mix it in a five gallon bucket before pouring it into the sprayer. So we'll mix in two additional gallons of vinegar and two cups of salt. And since we are in experimental mode, we purchased a paint stirrer to use with the drill. The salt is dissolved and we'll add two teaspoons of dishwashing liquid and stir it well. We didn't use the paint stirrer with the soap to keep the amount of suds down to a minimum. Then we add the mixture to the sprayer. As we get to the bottom of the bucket, you can see a few trace elements that settled from the salt. These are trace elements that were in our inexpensive animal feed salt. We'll make sure not to put them in the sprayer so they don't clog it. We'll start out with a total of three gallons of the mix in the sprayer. It's time to apply our mixture to the weeds in the driveway while making sure to saturate all the weeds, including the tiny ones that are just starting. The section from the bottom of the drive to the corner took three gallons vinegar, three cups salt, and three teaspoons dishwashing liquid. The top sections of the driveway took six gallons of vinegar, six cups salt, and six teaspoons dishwashing liquid. After 3 hours and 45 minutes, this section of the drive looks like the weeds are fading faster at the bottom section. The weeds that were in the sun are showing signs of fading more quickly than the area that was shaded under the trees. 2 hours and 15 minutes have passed since the top sections received the treatment, and they are beginning to show some signs of fading. Again, the areas in the shade aren't progressing as quickly as those in the sunny area. Also, the mixture doesn't seem to work as well on the grass areas as it does on areas with weeds. This is probably due to the fact that lawn grasses are developed to be hardy by the manufacturers. Roundup would have killed this grass. 24 hours later, the bottom section of the drive is showing pretty good signs of browning, but there isn't much progress in the shady areas under the tree and on the top sections. Overall, the weeds are beginning to brown and die. After five days, there are still some green areas that may not have had enough mixture applied or we may have missed them, but a large amount of the weeds are browning, but again, 
the grass has not been affected. Eleven days have passed since we sprayed the driveway and there are still a few areas where there are green weeds. Some are in the shade and some in the sun. It looks like there may be a few areas already beginning to show some regrowth too. There are a few possible reasons why the weeds aren't dying faster. We had a few days of rain prior to giving the first treatment. The weeds are in the shade. Some of the areas are grass rather than weeds, or we may not have given everything a thorough soaking with the application 11 days ago, but there is a good percentage that had good results. So we're going to give the drive a second application of the mixture. At this point, we are wondering if we didn't sufficiently mix the wetting agent, the dishwashing soap, thoroughly with the vinegar. So this time, we mixed all of our ingredients at one time with the paint mixer tool. The only thing we accomplished here was an over amount of soap suds. Another change we made with this application is to apply the mixture with a thicker soaking to the middle of the drive on the bottom section and only apply to the green areas on the top sections of the driveway. Two days after the second application, it looks like the green weeds have died. The purslane's roots are still pink, but have all but died. Most of the areas that still have some green appear to be lawn grass with a little fading of color beginning to show. There are a few moss areas that don't seem to be affected by the vinegar and salt. Someday in the future, we would like to see how Roundup affects this moss. After six days, some of the grass is showing more fading and some has died. There's a few hit and miss areas of weeds that are still green. Roundup probably would have killed these stubborn areas. This is how the weeds are looking 16 days since the last application of our homemade mixture. There are a few weeds coming up, but the majority of the weeds are staying away. As you can see, it's not having any killing effect on the grass. Because this is an ongoing experiment, we aren't going to try to calculate the cost of the Roundup versus homemade weed killer until we have reached an acceptable formula and application. And to the biggest question of all, is vinegar, salt, and dishwashing liquid an acceptable, cheaper, and possibly a more environmentally friendlier replacement for the chemical Roundup? With our particular type of weeds, our experiment is showing that the vinegar solution is around 90% effective so far, but we don't know how long the treatment lasts yet. Your situation may differ depending on whether you have only weeds or a lot of grass mixed in with the weeds. The moss was killed in this particular area, but not in this area. After 30 days, there are some areas that show regrowth more than other areas, but the overall results have about 60% of the weeds staying away. Now we wait and see how long until the weeds come back in full force. We hope this video has been helpful. We plan to do a part four weed killer experiment video when we will give an update on the results of part three's experiment and then do the next stage of the experiment where we will test out a vinegar salt mixture versus Roundup in a side-by-side -side comparison. Please subscribe and be sure to ring the bell so you're notified when part four is available if you want to keep up with the results of our homemade weed killer experiment. Thanks for watching.